Yeah, go ahead. Hi, I'm going to tie uh, one of my favorite patterns right uh, for you right now. This is a um, this is my version of a Latorte Hopper, Ed Shanks uh, Latorte Hopper. Uh, I've changed up some of the materials uh, to to protect the innocent, uh, and I've, I've I've found this to be uh, an effective effective pattern to fish. So I like to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to be using some uh, Danville um, three aught uh, monocord. Uh, you can also use uh, UTC uh, 140 um, hopper yellow uh, thread. I like to use a thicker thread because it um, uh, helps to, um, to uh, tie on the deer hair and not, and not break. So what I'm going to do is the first material I'm going to add onto this, this fly here is, um, is some uh, dubbing that is actually uh, a dubbing that's been around for a long time. But I happen to really like it. You can still you can still order it online. It's Flyright uh, number nine golden golden yellow uh, dubbing. Uh, it's a very long. Uh, I like to use it. And I like the color because it's a, a, a shade darker than than uh, most of the uh, yellow dubbings you you see on the market uh, nowadays. So here's what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I've attached my thread and I'm going to wrap my thread back down the hook. Uh, to the bend of the hook opposite the barb here like this. This is where I, I like to uh, start all my my bodies right here. I'm going to take a little bit of this dubbing. I, I like to just add a small amounts of dubbing as I as I tie uh, that way. I find that it's it's easier to uh, add dubbing than, than it is necessarily to take it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dub wet my fingers a little bit. I like to do that to, to help uh, to help the dubbing to adhere. Then I'm going to slide the dubbing, uh, this noodle that I've made. I've made a, a somewhat robust noodle here of dubbing. And then I'm going to wrap this forward here like this. And I'm going to wrap it to about one eye width back from the eye of the hook. I'm going to take some wing material, and I'll show that to you. This is the wing material here. This happens to be Pelon 808. It's an interfacing that they use for sewing. I've taken it and mark, uh, colored it with a tan marker. And then I cut it out with a, uh, um, a, um, a wing cutter. I like to use um, River Roads Creation. Um, Hopper wing body cutter. Right here, if we can see that. I'll try to get as much of it in there as I can on the screen. Um, the reason being I like to use is it, it cuts out some really nice looking and very consistent wings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wing and I'm going to measure it. I like the wing to be the, uh, the rounded portion to be just slightly longer than the bend of the hook. And I'm measuring that with the, my index finger and my thumb. Take my scissors, I'm just going to cut this off here like this. Then I'm going to take and just cut off the edges just a little bit at a slant so that it creates kind of a point. That's just going to help me to tie the, the, the uh, material onto the hook a little bit easier. I'm going to lay this with the end right against the eye of the hook and I'm holding the, the wing material to the side here. As I wrap it on and, and tie my thread on, the, um, the wing will rotate because of the torque of the thread uh, more towards the, the top. I'm going to keep it more towards me, maybe just slightly more, so that when I do put the deer hair on and I pull down, the, the uh, wing will rotate up on top. I've taken some deer hair. I've stacked it. I'm going to take this deer hair out of the stacker, and then I'm going to measure it. I want the uh, the, the tips to be uh, just almost even with the uh, uh, end of the wing. Here it might look like it's a little bit short, but by the time I get done with this, it'll, it'll be pretty uh, pretty even with it. I'm going to, again, measure it with my index finger and my thumb. I'm going to gra grab it with my opposite hand. And then I'm going to take my scissors 
and I'm going to trim this straight up and down like this and you'll see why I do that. I'm going to line up the butt ends of this with the eye of the hook. I've wrapped my thread to the eye and back to the front of the wing here. Then I'm just going to take a soft loop around the, the hair. I'm not going to let go of the hair. Take a second loop and as I come down I'm going to gently pull this, this taut. And as I do that you'll see that this hair flares into almost a semi-circle. I'm going to slide my fingers back slightly and then I'm going to very carefully and very deliberately wrap my thread through the hair. You notice that I have not uh, let go of the um, of the um, deer hair. In the original pattern that I used to fish, this was the first dry fly I ever fished, um, the flies that I, I had gotten were uh, all spun deer hair, just like a muddler. The wing was, was made with the oak turkey, and I found that that would split after the first couple of casts or, or after I caught a couple of fish, and so I went to the Palon to use for the wing. Um, what I'm going to do now is let go of the, of the, of the wing, and you can see that, that the hair flares out nicely. Now you can whip finish it at this point. What I oftentimes like to do is to take a um, half hitch tool and push the hair back like that. It makes the hair stick up in the front a little bit. Clears the eye. I'll put about uh, three to, to six wraps here of uh, a thread to finish off the fly. I'm going to turn my vise just slightly towards me. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this flush on the bottom here like this so that everything underneath is parallel. And you'll see that um, this fly uh, it looks like it would be a fly that would lay very flat in the surface uh, of the water. This is one of my favorite patterns to fish in the summer. I don't, I don't go out without this pattern. Uh, in larger sizes I use it for uh, hoppers and, and, and you can do different colors for stone flies and in smaller size like this size is size 16 I I'll, uh, often fish it as a, a small hopper or um, a caddis uh, excellent pattern to, to fish thanks zoom to turn off yeah I had uh, <coughs> Domingo